Yes, we've got to go back to our now and report to her. Bradby. Nice. The alliance is made. Pledge complete. Nice. Da -da 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 -da. Thank you. I heard shouting. There's something wrong. Hold you robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Huh. Rob disappointed word. Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on senses of judgment? Will you? is there, in Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes. You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that is happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A Philly what? Are you mocking me? You mocking me? me? Violence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? <laughs> Rowan, tell me your version of these events. <laughs> As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. You enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing! Holger, let me speak. Stealing, borrowing, my point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holgir stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feet, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir. And how right I was. But when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush, slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rohan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rohan. Holger. Let me hear your sound. Eivor, you have known me as a scout for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, 
freedom to make use of the rare resources to produce my verses. I have exactly the proper tools. I have made use of novel answers. All this is walking in Toby's face. All were given glare. You cut off my horse's tail to make a bitch. of my grace entering my stables for their feet i found my most beautiful gentle mare stripped of her tail bereft not a strand in sight i am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to hog and how right i was but when i peered across the lane there he was gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo dragging it across a sheet of painting rowan i was you see I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Rowan, however daft his approach, Hulker meant you no harm and lost you no coin. The horse's hair will grow back. But... And you, Holger, your habit of borrowing without asking ends today. Apologize to Rowan and greet his friends. This had best be a very good apology. It will be, of course. I do offer my utmost apologies. And to Elgifer, most elegant of mares, I dedicate my finished work. You are respectively a king of men and a queen of horses. And I exalt you. I am sorry. Hmm. Rowan, does this satisfy you? As much as it can. I accept the apology. Good. Then by tears blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace.